Hey, we are in Fort Pickens, Florida, which is a national park, which is located right next to Pensacola, Florida, which is where we're currently staying at. Yes, right. So it's at the end of Pensacola Island, which I didn't know that Pensacola and Pensacola Beach are actually two different locations. Um, Pensacola Beach is actually on an island outside on the other side of Pensacola. And right now, the closest bridge between Pensacola and uh, Pensacola Island mm -hmm. is closed due to the hur last hurricane, hurricane damage. Hurricane Sally, which made it, uh, which instead of a 30 minute drive, made it almost like an hour and 20 minute drive. Uh, but it was a fun drive and yeah. it was fast, mostly highway. So it's it's worth it to come around to the island. Um, when you first come in, it's it, there's mm -hmm. an awful lot of like, um, bars and restaurants and it looks like a pretty happening place I'm sure during spring break oh yeah uh, but it uh, if you go a little further and go all the way here to Fort Pickens which is at the end of the island it is just some of the whitest sand mm -hmm. I've ever seen in my life it's just gorgeous 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 now I've done my research on Fort Pickens Karen have you done your research on Fort Pickens nope. Okay, Fort Pickens, a lot of interesting history about Fort Pickens. Fort Pickens, they, the U.S. Army uh, made several high-profile uh, forts around the Gulf of Mexico back in the mid-1800s to reinforce them at the different various ports there were. And Fort Pickens was the strongest of all the forts they made. It was designed by a French designer who later became a U.S. American citizen. And then during the Civil War, this was one of four Union forts that never fell to the Confederacy. It never did, never fell. And in fact, the actual designer of the fort, he was put in charge of the Florida militia. And he was part of his job was to try to retake his own fort that he designed and he could not do it. It never fell once. Nope, it was a Union stronghold in the South, which is virtually unheard of. Yep. So, uh, but it's really an interesting, kind of an eerie fort. You could kind of go into nooks and crannies and I'm sure Phil will. Um, show that to you on the video, but it was it's it's so neat. It's such a um, I Don't know. It's such a representation of a slice of time during the late 19th century. So um, You know the fort I think was still in uh, In use until 1933. Is that right? Or uh, actually it was in use all the way uh, past World War II wow. I was doing some reasons. Yeah, awesome. there was a real concern about not to U-boats that were in fact operating the Gulf of Mexico so the fort was in use all you know during World War II as well but another interesting piece of trivia which I bet you don't know do you know who a famous prisoner was that was kept here nope. Geronimo oh. the Apache Indian chief Geronimo when he was actually captured by uh, the US Cavalry was actually imprisoned here in um, Fort Pickens for a while but Geronimo was in fact one of the prisoners that was held here for a time yeah so there's lots of history in this uh, fort and uh, definitely definitely worth a stop if you're in the area yes absolutely and for veterans um, if you are a former veteran and you can prove that either through a DD-214 or on your driver's license it says you know a V for veteran or the word veterans or something on it like I've got from South Dakota, there is no charge to come into this park or any other national park. So just keep that in mind veterans out there. Right. It'll save you uh, the $25 mm -hmm. entrance fee if you do not. So the national park pass or if you are a veteran. Absolutely.
located just a few miles from Pensacola, Florida, and was built in 1834 as a result of the British invasion of the United States during the War of 1812. After the war, the federal government had built a series of forts all along the eastern seaboard of America to protect its most important harbors from foreign invasion. Ironically, however, their first combat would not be against foreign invaders, but against their own countrymen. Fort Pickens was one of just a handful of forts located deep within the South that never surrendered and remained in Union control throughout the Civil War. Supplied, and at times defended, by the Union Navy, these forts became a thorn to the Confederate States of America as a constant reminder that the Union was still present even in their own new country. Fort Pickens, in particular, had several attempts to force her to surrender, the largest of which occurred on October the 9th, 1861, and was referred to as the Battle of Santa Rosa Island, where over 1,000 Confederate troops attempted to storm the fort, but were defeated. Ironically, although the fort was designed by French engineer Simon Bernard, the construction was overseen by American William Chase, and during the Civil War, Chase had sided with the Confederates and was tasked with taking over Fort Pickens, and he was the one that led the Confederate attack at Santa Rosa Island. Obviously, General Chase constructed his buildings very well, as even he could not overcome Fort Pickens. We're going to finish up this video now at Fort Pickens, and then we're going to take you on a short trip down Gulf Islands National Seashore that surrounds the fort and are some of the whitest beaches that Karen and I have ever seen. If you like this video or some of our previous videos, please consider subscribing on YouTube as we take you to Gulf Islands National Seashore. Here we go. Hey, to remember to look at the camera. I was just doing that when you started talking to me. <laughs> I don't know, it's such a representation of a slice of time. Mm -hmm. In the early or the late 1900s or late 1919. Mm. Oh, Grandma, Go ahead. Get me on this floor. During the late 19th century. And it was just as an example of how terrible it was, you know, for the Native Americans during that time. Not only was Geronimo imprisoned here, but his family, who was actually also captured, was imprisoned at a completely different fort in Florida. But again, those, that's ancient history, and you know, we're looking at more better times. I should probably edit all that out. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But. Uh, Taller than me. <laughs> I can push him out. Okay. Hey everybody, we are in Fort Pickens, Florida, mm -hmm. which is a United States National Park, and we are basically um I'm gonna start that over again. Are we in Pensacola? Pensacola? So this is Pensacola Pensacola Island. Okay. And Pensacola. Hey everybody, we are in Fort Pickens. Part of the Gulf Shores National Park on Pensacola Beach. I got that right, right? Yes. <laughs> so I had to make sure I got it right because there's a lot of Pensacolas around it. There's Pensacola Island, Pensacola Beach, and Pensacola City. Um, I don't know if that's true. Okay, it's... maybe I should start this again one more time. Hi, from Fort Pickens, Florida. Yes, from. I, was, I, was, I kind of caught me off guard, so I thought I was going to lead it, but if you want to, let's do that again. Do you want to lead it off? No, it's just you, you had clicked it on and didn't say anything. <laughs> hey, everybody.